Maricopa County is warning families about toxic algae in the water. Action News Jack Skyvision drone flew over the water today in Putnam County, where new health alert signs have been posted at several docks. New at 5, Action News Jack's Beth Rousseau is learning the impact this is having on fishermen in the St. Johns River. You can see the signs posted here on the dock about the toxic algae, but as Action News Jack Sky Vision can show you, the water appears to be clear. Families here tell me it wasn't the case a few months ago. Life in Palatka revolves around the St. John's River. Um, it's where Christian Zimmer and his son Blake spend afternoons fishing. In the summertime, every couple days, just give him something to do, get him out of the house. So he says it's alarming to see this health alert on the dock warning about toxic algae. It'll have a huge impact. There, there's a lot of the charter boat fishermen. I went to the Department of Health to ask about the blooms. A spokesperson says seven samples taken in Putnam waterways tested positive for toxins from blue green algae. It's the sheets of, of little green balls that just float as far as you can see. Two months ago, it was real thick right here. In April, I took a sample of the algal blooms Zimmer is describing. Toxins from blue-green algae can cause rashes, stomach or liver illness, and even neurological problems, according to the Department of Environmental Protection. It's also harmful to pets and livestock. Zimmer says he wants the issue addressed so they don't have to worry about what they catch. I think if they cut down on the fertilizers, it'll cut down on the bloom. A spokesperson with the Department of Health tells me that they're going to continue taking samples at these sites and monitoring for toxins. Reporting in Palatka, Beth Russo, CBS 47 Action News Jacks. And Beth has investigating, uh, been investigating issues of toxic algae in our waterways for months. She learned there are ways you can test water near you if you are worried. When I was working on the story about algae earlier in the summer, I actually reached out to the St. John's River Keeper. They told me and they reminded me that they can't be everywhere to take samples of all this water. So they say if you're out on the water and you see some algae, go ahead and let them know. Reach out to them so that they can tell you how to take your own sample and bring it in for testing. Reporting in Palatka, Beth Russo, CBS 47 Action News Jack.